Okay, this tutorial will demonstrate how to solve a twos three by three pillar puzzle. Uh, it's a new puzzle introduced to DDO. Uh, this particular one is indicated there. The solution is you want to have everything showing a two. There are other variations that ask for a different number and have different combinations. Uh, this is not the starting version of this puzzle, and that is intentional. I will show you how to solve it given any a solution. The way this works is when you step on a tile, it will pull one from the adjoining tiles. So if I step on this one here, uh, it will pull one from each of the three adjoining corners. Uh, let me uh, find my feather fall boots here really quick. That will make this a lot easier. There they are. Uh, so then if I step on the this one over here, again, it will pull uh, three in, and it just adds to what is already there. Uh, so to solve this, we need to get to a zero point. Uh, that is a point that is easily obtainable and repeatably <laughs> attainable. It doesn't matter where you start from. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to get four in each of the corners and two in the center. Uh, the reason we like that is because it's really easy to kind of control where the dots are going. I'll try and keep the camera in the same orientation as much as possible. Apologies for when I inevitably do change it. You can see by stepping in the corners, uh, it's, like I said, really easy to control, really easy to get where you want it to go. Uh, if you do end up with more in the middle, um, I'll, I'll intentionally mess it up here because I'm going to get it too easy here. Uh, so we want to go to this corner here. Now, it is a little bit tricky here, but what we can do is step here. And every time I do that, all I'm going to do is reset this corner to four every time. And that will, at least as high as I can go, and that will kind of get us into the right direction. So it doesn't matter how this puzzle starts, you can always kind of go through this process. It will always zero it out. There we go, two in the center, that's what we're looking for. And here we go. Just step on this corner a couple times. And we've got it. All right, so now we're going to go through a series of steps that will produce a solution every single time. Uh, it is a little tricky to do the jumps, but uh, I will also have uh, these uh, a kind of a chart and a guide uh, to show how to do this, uh, which I will link in the description below. And at this point, all we have to do is step on each of the unlit corners. And there you go. Puzzle is solved. Don't forget to check out the link uh, in the description. That will give you a, a grid layout form of that so it's easy to kind of see and understand, uh, as well as solutions to other similar puzzles. Thanks for watching.